So today I'm going to do a little video on how to do decoupage. So the supplies you'll need are some decoupage papers. I've already cut these up into little squares. They're like tissue, they're like pattern tissue paper. So they're quite thin, not like normal paper. And um, for this project I'm doing rainbow colours. And I find it helpful to put my decoupage papers in the little tray. Now this is a little um, tray that I got in a sterile dressings kit and they are super handy for crafting. Then you need the thing that you're going to decoupage. So I've got this little box here that I'm going to decorate. Then next is glue. Now this is just standard PVA glue um, and you can use that to go over your project to make it nice and glossy or you can use varnish if you want to. It's entirely up to you and then obviously you're going to need a paintbrush. Now this is just a stiff haired paintbrush um, I use to do my decoupage with so I solely use this because of glue so I, it's completely separate to what I use for painting with. So the first thing you need to do is to glue the surface that you're going to decorate on. So I'm just going to spread this on here and then you're just going to put one of your decoupage papers on there just line it up with the edging and then what the important thing you have to do is you have to seal it in so you have to brush over the top of it and then you take your next bit of paper and with decoupage, you I'm just gonna add a bit more glue on there. Actually, um, is it's important to overlap your papers, so I'm just gonna do the edges. So I've overlapped that, and then I'm gonna go over and seal it with glue. And. That's just, and you just keep going, you just keep putting paper over the top, then gluing over the top until you've completely done. So that's what it looks like, and I'm just going to keep going for a little bit. And I'm just trying to get a variety of colours here, just so I'm just not getting a same ones all the time. And I think with this project I'm going to do a matte varnish but I haven't quite decided it. I've dropped it. can be quite fiddly sometimes doing this. But it's quite a quick craft to do. It doesn't take too much time and it's quite enjoyable and the time does pass quite quickly um, If you, like on the last project that I did, I had papers that came off the edge of this, and all I did was I just used my craft knife and a sort of cutting mat, and I just used my craft knife along the edge to kind of create it. And I'll show you the one that I finished earlier. So this is one that I've already done. So. As you can see, I've kind of so I had to cut along the papers over here. So I'll just kind of do it from struggling to kind of get a view of it here. Just move that out of the way. So that's what I 
I did earlier. And I've gone over it with a glitter varnish, this one. So yeah, that's one I did earlier. So I'll leave it there and I'll show you the finished product. So that is one finished side and that's how it looks and the glue will dry clear and then I'll just go over the top of it to make it glossy but I'm thinking for this product I'm going to use a matte varnish which I've not used before but I think it'll look quite nice. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.